Hey you. Yes you. Have you ever started recording or streaming on OBS and thought to yourself, man, it would be so nice if I could separate all of my application audios, allowing me to gain full control over my stream's audio quality. Now, of course, naturally, you could go ahead and buy some crappy mix amp software for your computer that'll kind of do the same thing. Or you could go ahead and buy yourself something like a Go XLR or have an entire dual PC stream setup that'll also do it, but just make things very complicated. But why would you want to do all of that where you can come here, watch my video, and let me show you how you can do all of that in OBS itself. And the best part about it, it's completely free. After all, you are now my darling. What's everybody it's your boy king k and welcome to tutorial tuesday even though it's wednesday nah i'm sure it's wednesday somewhere in the universe right now today ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be showing you guys how to go from this to this for completely zero cost whatsoever literally it's completely free it's really easy to use too now all you'll need in order for this to work is a simple obs plugin that will be linked down below at the top of my description called win capture audio just before i get into the whole setup of this plugin though i want to be sure to let you guys know that this does not work on streamlabs obs this is strictly usable on obs studio itself also i just want to note that i'm not going to be doing a whole audio setting breakdown for obs itself in this video i'm only going to be focusing on this plugin i will however be making such a video in uh, the very near future so if you guys want to check out that video then be sure to subscribe down below my channel i'll be sure to make it good and besides i post a bunch of different content so just check out my other content in general thank you now back to the plugin itself simply go down into my description and find that link that i mentioned earlier which will take you to github and the official download page for this plugin once you're on the download page simply scroll down over to assets and what you want to do is click on win dash capture audio 2.2.3 yada 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 and might be an updated version by the time you download it but you want to make sure that you download the exe folder simply click on it and it will bring up the option to download it download it wherever you really like to download it now once you have that file downloaded simply go over to the file itself click on it so that you could begin the installation except to the agreements yada 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 t's and c's install now i already have it installed obviously so i cannot install it again without closing my obs but go through the installation procedure it'll install the plugin itself directly into obs studio now once everything is installed head back over to obs and under sources when you click on the plus button you'll be able to find something called application audio output capture now if you do not see this under your sources though be sure to completely close obs studio and open it up again in order for it to refresh and actually make the plugin visible now that you've confirmed that the plugin is installed and visible on your obs studio your obs studio might look a little something like this right here you guys can go ahead and delete your headset audio if you wish to do so if you do not however have your microphone and headset audio and such under sources itself that is most likely because you are using global audio devices under obs studio setting now what i want you to do is go ahead under global audio devices in settings and disable every single option just like i have done right here do not worry though because we'll be adding our microphone and all the other audios back separately so if you were using global audio devices be sure to go under sources click on the plus button and click on audio input capture you can go ahead and create new and under this you can go ahead and select your microphone now the reason we add devices manually instead of through the settings itself is because it allows you to customize all of your audio settings in a lot more depth but again i'm not going to go into all of that in this video i will be doing that in another video soon another reason as to why we do it this way is because the plugin itself only works with output devices and not input devices okay okay but now that we have all of that information out of the way let me show you how to use the actual plugin itself under sources simply click on the plus button and head over to the application audio output capture click on it and you'll be able to name a new one and create a new audio profile for whichever application you want to use for this i'm simply going to label gda5 because i currently have my gda5 open i'm going to click on ok and it will bring up a tab that looks like this now under mode you want to keep this to capture specific window 
You shouldn't really mess around with the capture foreground window of hotkey option. Basically, it allows you to hit a hotkey and or tell it to record whichever application is currently full screen. This may be viable for certain games if you're too lazy to go ahead and change it, but I would prefer and I would definitely say it in my own opinion that you stick with capture specific window. The next thing is the window option and when you click on it, it's going to bring up a list of all of the applications you have open currently. What you want to do is scroll down on this list until you find the application you want to record specifically. Again, I mentioned that I'm doing this on GDA5. So as you can see here, GDA5.exe or Grand Theft Auto 5 is currently open and it will only pick up applications that are currently open. So I'm going to go ahead and click on GDA5 and that's going to tell it to record all of the audio output coming from GDA5 itself. The next option available is called Window Match Priority and you want to keep this on Match Title otherwise find window of the same executional man english is hard my my sincere apologies executable you want to keep it on this option otherwise it's going to require you to manually change it more often now the final option here is a tick box that says capture all audio except the selected window if the window exists now i don't really know why you'd want to use this but basically if you go ahead and click on gda5 like i did right here and you tick on this box it's going to record all of the other things except for that so i don't really know what the point of it is and it's not really useful and you don't want to use it unless I, I, you might have like really specific reasons for it but otherwise just leave that alone once you are done selecting all of the options you'd like you can go ahead and click on ok and it's going to start capturing the audio of the application that you've selected I've now gone ahead and loaded back into GDA5 and as you guys can see and obviously here it is capturing the GDA5 audio tab you can also adjust the volume of these tabs individually with the slider just like what you did before with your headset or microphone audio. I've gone ahead and quickly opened up my Spotify and started blasting music and as you guys can see there's no audio coming through whatsoever. However if I bring up my microphone really close to my headset you guys can hear that there is actual music playing but of course nothing is being captured because Spotify is not selected. However if I go to the audio tab for GDA5 open up the settings bring up properties and go ahead and select under window spotify instead spotify premium spotify exe whichever one and i start playing music now as you guys can hear it's now picking up the spotify application you guys can also use this to add as many applications as you really like to. simply go under sources click on the plus button again click on application audio capture output capture whatever man create a new one i'm just going to pull up spotify right here under add existing this is going to bring up my spotify and there i've got a new spotify tab now if i were to play gda5 and have spotify running it'll pick up both spotify and gda5 Reloading. me personally i have an audio setup something like this under my audio mixer and uh, whilst I'm here I actually want to mention that it's important if you are streaming and you have some sort of other plugins installed or you have browser sources for alert boxes and such you want to have an audio tab for OBS itself simply go ahead and create another output capture and select under window OBS so not properties like I have right here because this is selecting the specific window right here but the entirety of OBS now whenever you get notifications or stream alerts or any of the kind it will be playing through this audio tab itself all right and with all that being said I believe I've covered everything you need to know about this plugin you can now capture all of your application audio separately change all the individual volumes and even of course add filters and customization just like any other audio that you were able to before okay english is hard i've been speaking for too long once again just be sure to go under sources and add your microphone back manually if you have not had this option enabled already just go over under sources click the plus go into audio input capture select your microphone like i showed you earlier and then you will be good to go one last thing i'd like to detail about this plugin is a simple downside and depending on what you really do or what you want to use it for it could be major or it could not really be anything at all. The downside to it is only brought up when using applications with more in-depth interfaces or separate audio channels. 
A simple example I can show you guys is using Discord because Discord is one of the applications I've found to have this problem. I'm currently within my own Discord, link to it down below in the description by the way, just gonna point that out there. And I do have a Discord option in my audio mixer itself. As you can see, however, there's only one green bar. If I open up the properties for my Discord audio itself, you'll see that this is labeling music, Thunder Buddies, yada, yada, yada. Now this is a completely separate Discord that I was recording on with some friends. But if I go ahead and click under window and I scroll down to the kingdom, which is my Discord server and click it, you'll see that it now has two green bars up here. And if anyone else is within my Discord chat, their audio will now be picked up. If I go to a different server in Discord though and join into a different call, it's not gonna be able to pick up. Even though it shows two green bars here, it's not going to pick up the audio for this Discord server. So what you'll need to do is go back to OBS, open up the properties for Discord audio again, under window, select the new Discord server or the new information given to you by the Discord application itself in order to capture that specific server. The reason for this happening whenever you change Discord servers is when you do that, it changes the property names of the application itself. And of course, even though it's set to Discord recording, it doesn't have the exact same title anymore because you switched over to a completely different server. So even though you have Discord selected, you need to manually change it to the Discord again to make sure that it records the different server that you're on. Phew, okay, I am completely out of breath. My throat is getting sore because I've been talking way too much. That is, however, the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I could help you guys out a little bit to improve your streams quality, at least on the audio side of things or recordings or videos, whichever, I don't know what you do, okay? But I hope I could have helped you. If you made it this far to the video, thank you all for coming out and watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll be sure to post more tutorial videos on OBS and a whole bunch of other things in the near future. I'm just, I'm getting into the vibes, you know, the schedule of things. I'll of course also have a playlist for all of these videos. So if you want to check out more tutorial videos, be sure to head over to the playlist at the end screen or uh, under my channel itself. Okay, that all that sort of vibes. I've also got links to socials in my description. I've also got, of course, that big red subscribe button of seven letters. Be sure to tap it because uh, you get to stay in the loop of all my content. Thank you again, though, for coming out and watching this video. I really, really hope I could have helped you. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to all of you guys. But other than that, that's been me. I'm really hungry. I'll be seeing you all on stream or another video or whenever. Much love. Peace.